So I had the idea of making a robot that can draw using only rotations. And when I say only rotations, there's two things that rotate. First you have the disc, and a piece of paper would be set on top of this disc, and the disc would rotate around its center. Then there would be an arm that would be holding like a sharpie or a pen or something, and that arm would rotate sweeping over the disc. If this sounds familiar, it's a lot like how hard drives work. Hard drives usually have a read-write head that sweeps back and forth over a magnetic disk. But I don't want to build a hard drive. Instead, I thought it would be fun to use the same concept and make a little bot that can doodle stuff. Now, there's a lot of math involved in this, so a lot of trigonometry. So I decided I wanted to actually simulate it first before I bought the hardware and built it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to build it anytime soon, but it was on my mind and I thought it would be fun to be able to make a simulator for it. So what we have here is some code that I wrote over the past couple days and basically it allows you to sketch in a doodle and then it attempts to convert that doodle into motor pulses and I have a class in the code which represents a stepper motor and it converts it into pulses and then actually rotates the disc and the arm uh, as if it was actually sending them to a microcontroller to be able to rotate. Um, the other interesting thing about this is that it's not faking it. So the black line that it draws, it's actually drawing by recording the position of the head where it is relative to the paper every time the head or the disc moves. So I'll say that again, it's kind of confusing, but basically if the disc rotates or if the arm rotates, it records the current of position of the black dot, which represents the Sharpie, relative to the paper. And it just does that over time. So it's not just following the line that you draw ahead of time, which would be cheating because if I were to just follow that line, I would already know all the places it needs to go. But instead, it tries to follow that line by controlling motors, and sometimes it messes up, sometimes it's not perfect. As you can see, the uh, final output is a lot more jagged than the smooth lines that I draw when I begin. But if you were to actually um, you know, manually override it and twist the disc um, out of the way, it will record that stroke. The ink will record the fact that it got messed up. So it's kind of a cool simulator because it's not just following the line that you input, it's actually drawing a line based on, you know, pulses it's sending to those virtual motors. Um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of math. Um, definitely took, uh, took me a few days to wrap my head around it all, but um, I eventually got it working. Um, my friend who uh, I want to work on this project with actually came up with a different solution for how we can calculate the rotational values for the motors, but I haven't implemented that one in this version. This version is just using um, some, you know, uh, arc tangent to uh, arc cosine, a bunch of just trig to figure out all the angles and then uh, attempt to get the motors to pulse to be in the correct positions. So yeah, um, it's a fun project. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll build it in the future. Uh, I can't say when I'm going to be building it, I really don't know. Pretty busy. But I would like to someday, um, and I'm glad that I got the math worked out um, so that when it does come time to build it, Oh, it should be one less problem to have to solve.